Hello everybody, my name is Alex Maximov and today I'm gonna show you how to make a perfect sound sync without timecode, without manually syncing video and audio using Slate. What I'm about to teach you is very easy and straightforward and once you know it, it's gonna save you lots of hours in post-production. Our setup is like this. We have Blackmagic 4K camera, we shoot 4K, ProRes. We use Zoom H6 to record sound separately. And on set, we also feed clean audio into the camera. So we have a good reference audio coming in. So we have a dilemma right now. So if you look here, we have footage here. And we have sound here. And if you pay close attention, we have uh, multiple audio files. One take, multiple audio files. If we open up Pluralize right now and we try to sync it up, not gonna happen. One, two, three, four, five. I drop audio in here. I select five footage clips. I drop them in. They align. So the problem is that Pluralize has no way of knowing that this is actually all those four files are actually one take. It just adds them as, as different, you know, takes. So whenever I click synchronize, it's going to synchronize only the first sound because the, uh, the first one, LR, uh, our sound guy plugs in boom microphone to it. So the boom microphone is pretty much in the action. That's why it synchronizes perfectly. But we we'll also have three lavaliers mics that don't have lots of, you know, points of reference and basically are out of sync, out of luck. We could do that manually by using slate and everything, but this is just going to take a long, long time. And plus having, you know, four, five, sometimes we have six files here. I mean, this is just uh, going to take a long, long time. And, and our setup didn't have any time code jamming. We chose the <laughs> low budget indie production way. So we are stuck with, with this thing. Now, when I originally encountered this problem, I was, you know, to say the least, a little bit disheartened. Uh, I was sad and upset. But I come to realize that it's, it's a pretty easy fix once we bake all those files, four files, into one file, into one wave multi-track file without flattening. It's going to keep all the tracks, so the sound guy who's going to be doing the sound mix gonna have all tracks that we, we recorded. So, in order to get there, we need the following apps. Pluralize goes without saying. Then we need this amazing free app called Audio Move. Then we need Renamer. It renames files. It's gonna save a lot of time. Alternatively, you could use Apple's Automator app. How to use it? please Google how to rename files using Automator. I think it's pretty straightforward, but I decided to use Renamer. And Wave Agent. Wave Agent is a little perfect free app. I'm gonna show you how everything works in a second. So first I start Audio Move, and I choose, I don't wanna do any conversion, so I'm gonna click Source uh, for Format, Source for 8, Width, uh, uh, Bit Depth, source quality best I don't think it makes any difference but who knows maybe it does so best uh, one thread and and m must have this you just must have this clicked that's the whole reason why we use this app and convert in place we wanna s click here because we want all files to stay in the same folder in order f to simplify our life with wave agent with wave agent so we click convert in place we realized that it's gonna delete source files uh, not to worry we have a backup right right so we go into the finder to make the sound choice uh, to make to choose the files there are two options really the the first one is uh, very hard you are gonna select this drop is gonna convert select this drop is gonna convert select this drop is gonna convert 
or there is a much better way how to do this. You select the parent folder where all the Zoom folders live. You go into search, you type underscore LR and click this folder. And now I see all my LR files and I select them and drop them. And right now it's breaking down channels. The only reason I can do this is because our boom is a mono, it will have only one boom, but it's taking up two channels, left and right. I don't want this, I just want boom to be mono channel, one channel, in order for it to work with wave agent. So that's why we have to, to do this. Ah, it's still working. Yeah. Yeah. So wait until you have 60 files, 60, 60 files, yeah. Then you can choose command A, select everything, and then delete. Wait an, uh, until it's deleted. Yes, now it's deleted. So go back to C1, just rename it. And now is the time to use little renamer app called renamer. Duh. So we drag, we select everything, we drag and drop. Then I created a preset boom sound files I'm gonna show you how to create it so you go here you go find and replace basically you type LR C C1 and right now you see that it deleted it and it replaced it with uh, nothing so it deleted it and now I wanna type in the replacement and the replacement is TR0 TR0 and I'm gonna click apply all files are renamed right now so we go back and we see that now we have track 0 track 0 track 0 everywhere track 0 track 0 perfect so next step is the app called wave agent it's pretty cool free you have metadata editor here if you if you have a person doing that, so this is a very good option uh, to keep metadata in place, but we don't have that, so drag and drop. And right now everything's in, and all I need to do is split combine. It's going to combine multiple mono files into one multi track wave file. Now I'm choosing the folder where my output is gonna go it's gonna be one file remember one file for each take so it doesn't have to go back into the folders where it came from and I just click process sit back and wait while the transcodes uh, sorry it's, it, it doesn't transcode it stitches together 60 files you see how fast it's going I see files appearing here so yeah, sit back and relax. I'm not gonna cut anything so you see how fast it works. Our takes are, I don't know, 40 seconds to 2 minutes, so not too long, not too short. For longer takes, it's gonna take longer, like this one. Sit back and relax. It's definitely much faster than, uh, you know, doing everything by hand and syncing everything in person. Done! It, was, it wasn't that long, so right now we have 58 files, but we should have 60 files. So the problem lies within file 35 and 36, and the reason is, I'm gonna show you, it's track 0 here. And wave agent doesn't work with one single mono file, meaning one file, mono, one file, is not going to be combined into multi-track wave file because it's just one file. Wave agent skips it, so you gotta manually pick it up and transfer it to your finals folder. Just move it by hand. So if you have this situation, not to worry. Um, yeah. 
So now I have all 60 files here. And watch what's going to happen in Pluralize right now. Where is it? <laughs> so I'm going to show for the demonstration purpose f 15 files. I like to manually create a uh, camera one and a sound recorder, so I don't leave that to the app to make a choice. So, and here I need to, to select f 15 files as well. And drag and drop. Wait while it's going to sync up. And prep the files. So, it's very easy. Voila! Yes! We have everything in sync. And right now, I can export to any of my choice. Any app. Yeah. Yep. I think it's perfect. It's a perfect solution for a seemingly unsolvable problem that I was facing, but I have found a solution. Hope this helps you too. Good luck and always do slate. So in case everything fails, you have a slate. Yep, slate. So here you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.